Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here. And in case you guys didn't pick up on it already, yes, I did. I fixed my video settings. Um, it was like one output setting that needed to change, basically. And here's the thing, I probably mentioned this, this is part 11 by the way, I was gonna have part 11 be this other chunk of footage, but it is mostly me playing the arranged dice game. And uh, you guys didn't really miss much, except for the fact that eventually I killed it and got like, freaking 4,500 medals with like, 300 gold I think. Um, just smart bets, basically. So I'll get to that in a minute. But um, basically what happened with part 10 is um, yesterday there was a large update um, to my recording program and they added options for HDR, which was pretty cool. Obviously lots of color options. And uh, currently using i444 instead of NV12 because it is better as a color format. And it's fine for YouTube videos. Because as I probably mentioned before as well, in the last episode I've been using NV12 for a long time because that's what's recommended, or what was recommended for YouTube videos as far as color format. Um, However, what was changed in the update that I didn't realize changed until I went through all the settings was now you have to manually set your white balance for standard for SDR. So standard definition stuff, whatever, standard dynamic range. Um, so yeah, basically anything not HDR. And um, As of right now, at least, I think, maybe it's different by the time this video comes out, but at the time of recording, YouTube doesn't support HDR playback on YouTube. So, does it matter? Not for the most part. <laughs> but there's like tone mapping options now and like blah blah blah. Anyway, so I fixed it and then I noticed even just the raw PS3 footage didn't look right, even after getting things back to normal settings, basically. And then I was like, okay, well, it's just how this video signal is being handled, so now I'm using a little bit of image correction uh, that I wasn't using before, because I realized on my main display, there are some automatic things that are happening with the native display that's not entirely native because there are the basic TV settings of like contrast and um, you know brightness and gamma and uh, sharpness all these different things so to me it looks okay and it's also doing this like area upscaling type thing um, which it looks fine but in the capture, it did not look like what I was looking at. And it looked very washed out, it looked blurry, all these other things. And I was like, you know, this doesn't look right. It doesn't, you know? Like, again, I don't have the best vision, but at the same time, I want these videos, even though it's an older game, I want these videos to look as good as possible. So. That's basically what I'm doing because like it looked a little washed out so like I boosted the saturation a little bit uh, it looked a little bit too gray so I boosted the uh, contrast a little bit and um, for the most part that's what I'm using and I'm using a better um, upscale filter 
which it starts with an L, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's like Lance Cross or something. Uh, it's a step above bicubic, so it's uh, it's good. It's good. It's all good now. Um, of course, like the frame rate is not like a solid 60 as far as render in this game. The video signal that it is putting out, as I explained in the last episode, um, is NTSC, if I remember right, because I made a note to remember that. Yes, NTSC, which is 59.94 frames per second, or hertz, depending on, you know, stuff. Um, basically, frames per second is a render thing, and then hertz is like a display thing, so. Um, yeah. I mean, technically, it's a measure of frequency, but yes, a refresh rate, basically. For the, I was like, what's a word that people use a lot? Refresh rate, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I'm just drinking my coffee, because like, I, I've, I've lost so much recording time today, <laughs> just like trying to figure this all out, and I'm just like, uh, I'm all, I was already behind on these videos, and I feel bad deleting one of them basically because it was nothing eventful and it didn't look good. I got some great pulls though and like I was pretty proud of how well I did in a ranged dice but seriously uh, Alonzo could take some tips for me <laughs> but uh yeah so for Alfina I got her the Staff of Healing which uh that was the prize that they had <clears throat> that they had at the casino for her it was like the grand prize, and I also got her the magic pendant, which was another 800 medals, what they called it. Um, so boosting your magic by five. And I gave Alonzo the protective charm because his resistance stat is terrible. Uh, equipped him with the Admiral Uniform and Trident, but I think I did that in part 10. And I, yeah, also bought some uh, revival elixirs, because these were fairly cheap and some white sulfur which restores 40 mp per shot so good stuff um also i feel bad leaving my ps3 on all day basically because as i found out uh, i have the second model ps3 slim and uh it actually puts out a lot of heat <laughs> so it's been heating my room and uh the stuff that was sitting directly behind it i found out which was actually my PlayStation Classic and my DualShock 4 and my PSTV, unfortunately, so they got a little bit warm, but I moved them a while ago. Hopefully they're fine. Uh, hopefully, yeah, because that would be a problem if they aren't. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, but another thing that wasn't really, like, displaying right in the capture is A, those shadows, but B, like, when you talk to people, like, the text just didn't look very good. Um, like, it was very blurred. And, like, like, I'm just looking in the capture, looking at my screen. Yeah, and that looks the same now, basically. So now you guys are seeing what I've been seeing the entire time, essentially. So, yeah. Still using LA ICQ uh, bitrate, in case you guys are wondering, and I actually did increase the quality preset on it by about two. So I'm actually at, but I need to watch the file size on these because if you go too low on that, it's like lossless, and the file sizes are like for let's say a half hour video would be like 30, 40, maybe even 50 gigabytes, which right now that is way too much. Um, and then of course it would take forever to upload, so. But anyway, unless of course I did some kind of like post-processing, like compression stuff, blah, 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 whatever. Time to set sail, you got everything, Yuki? Uh, yeah, sure do. Pull on your hats. 
Open sea and all her mysteries await us. Yeah, we're finally fucking leaving. Taking off for a new land. Very happy. <sighs> Man, I wish I had wings too. Well, I did once. My friend and I built our own airplane. I tried to fly to the mainland with it, but it didn't work out. The mainland, huh? I made my friend a promise. I told him that our dream was going to come true. I said I'd become the best pilot in the world. Tell me, what does it mean to be the best in the world? Huh? How do you know if you've succeeded? Who decides that you're the best one? Uh, well... I mean, do you become the best in the world when you make it to the mainland? Or after you've flown around the world? Will you be done with flying as soon as you've done these things? No, I never want to stop. I just want to keep flying. Higher and higher. Yeah. That's what dreams are like, kid. You never even think about what you'd do if they actually came true because you get so wrapped up in them. You'll find your dream someday. You're going to fly high, Yuki. I have no doubt about it. Thought there'd be more to that. Um, anyway, so that's what I was gonna say about these videos, these next couple of videos. Uh, they're gonna be shorter in length um, because I'm so far behind on my recording schedule. So um, we're probably gonna do, let's see, how much time do we have left to record? About an hour and a half? Something like that? So ordinarily, how this series has been going, that would be two episodes. I need to get like three in. So we're gonna stick to like 25 minute episodes basically. And yeah, that's how these ones are gonna go. So just to uh, just to reiterate that point. Mm. But yeah, I figured uh, Yuki would find camaraderie in uh, Alonzo, both being adventurers. Look at Ocean. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Straight up, dog. Oh, is it up, dog? <laughs> You're right, Alonzo. I never really thought about what it means to be the best pilot in the world. I gotta fly. That much I know. But once I get my plane, what should I do? What should I aim for? I completely lost sight of that. <laughs> Ellipses, kid. That's fine. You're still young. Oh, I called it. He called him kid. Alright. Cool. Well, you know, very helpful. Very nice. Look at seat. Wait, really? What kind of ghetto ass shit is this? It's not even in the boat. Like, usually it would be in the captain's quarters. Inside, because you don't want to be out on the ship freaking steering. And That's so dumb. Alright, whatever. Alonzo, your ship is dumb. Looks like a five-year-old designed it. <laughs> hey, it's our girl... Alfina. <laughs> the sea breeze feels nice. Yeah, this boat sure is fast. Alonzo wasn't lying. Well, not about this. I guess I have to say goodbye soon. To Miranda and you. What? Oh yeah, we said you'd take you as far as Mendy, right? I really had a great time. It's maybe the first time I've ever been able to laugh so freely. If I hadn't met you and Miranda, I would have given up trying to go back to Arkriff. I'm sure of it. So, you don't realize how much this has meant to me. I'll never forget it. Alfina knows what she has to do. She sees it so clearly. Alfina, when I get my airplane, I'd like it if you and I could... Alfina, when I get... Eh? 
Oh, you're not gonna finish that thought? All right. Yuki, just, come on, dude. Couple more words, you're almost there. Captain's quarters, looks like I'm the captain now. Like nothing in here. Alright. Getting out on deck. Going back to the cabin to talk to my mom. Hey, what's the matter? You look so serious. Oh, not seasick, are you? Miranda, Alfina and I were. Hmm? Alfina and you what? Oh, it's nothing. What is it? Are you tired? Maybe we should get some rest. I want to look around a bit. Come on, there are things to think about. Don't stay up too late. It's like, I just woke up. And we got on a boat. Wait, you want me to go right back to sleep? What the hell? I mean, I get it. We finally have some, like, peace and quiet, but... Don't rush it. You might even find your dream on this journey, right? Yeah, I guess. Look at the seat. Alonzo, this might sound a little naive, but is it okay just to let a boat run without ever controlling it? Well, I just lock her helm in place whenever I'm away from the controls. Voyages at sea can take months at a time, you know. When you're traveling alone, that can come in handy. Also, shouldn't this be inside? <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't get damaged by the elements. It's like, wow, that's a great idea. <laughs> That salty air and those waves. It's like we're flying on the sea. So this is a sailor's life. Alonzo's dream must be far beyond the waves, too. Also, I like how everything's moving, but, like, the sun is staying put. <laughs> like, in relation to... <laughs> I mean, that... I, I, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> also, are we listing to the right... No? Mm, I, I think we are, but anyway, whatever. It's probably fine. Fine, I guess I'll go to sleep. Jeez. Boring. Sense fear. Can I check anything else down here? No? Oh, the other thing I forgot to tell, about, tell you guys. Um, I got Alfina a spell called All Heal. Which uh, gives a little bit of health to everybody in the party. Which is really good. It's gonna be very helpful. But yeah, I think I will. Good idea. I think we'll have a good night's sleep. Well, good night. What, I'm not gonna be worried about never seeing Alfina again when I wake up? <laughs> I don't think so. Eh, eh. Also, she's our white mage. Don't we need her? <laughs> Save. Yes, it's gonna be like the counter's gonna be way off. By the way, oh my goodness, sixteen. Like four hours of that was like not doing anything, trying to get the video settings and everything correct. It's uh not my fave. Yuki, there's an awful noise coming from outside. Miranda and Alonzo went out to see what it was. It sounds like trouble. Guess we can't avoid that on a journey. Yeah, are, can you help in the battle? Like. You're kind of part of the party, you know, like... I'm assuming it's gonna be a battle. What, are they gonna be pirates? It looks pretty peaceful to me, I don't know. It's like exactly the same as it was. What is that, Alonzo? It's like a giant dust storm. Where? What? What are you talking about? This is nuts, they shouldn't be here. What? Oh, yeah. Come on. What the? Alright. <laughs> what? Alright. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of whatever that is. Lonzo's being targeted by those one. I, I guess... Magic Tremor... Uh... Does Earth do anything against flying types in this game? 
Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I don't give a shit. Peru? Alfina? Use weapon. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Let's go with, uh, Howl? I mean, that's probably gonna be effective, right? Can't do anything. Be careful, Alonzo. Howl. Let's, let's also use Howl. How about that? Almost everything's dead. Cool. We won. <laughs> See, I can do it if I try. Yep, that was pretty easy. Okay. That's why it was easy, gotcha. Okay. Uh... Howl. Just wrecked like everything. <laughs> yeah. Why not make things easier for everyone and stay out of our way? Oh, you know what that reminds me of? It's like the results music uh, in Mario Kart 64. That's exactly what that reminds me of. I mean, now it's a little bit different, but you know. Before, yeah, definitely, that's. Mm hmm. Expert status, magic level. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, different cutscene. Oh man, so many left there. What them. do we do? We're surrounded! Back! Something's wrong with the frame rate. Why do I have a feeling this thing's not friendly? Hmm? Look, Yuki! A dragon! A dragon? Oh. Um. Oh, wait, no. Oh! Dude. Okay. Hey! That's not the Alonzo I remember! You really saved us there, Ulf. That was perfect timing. I thought a veteran sailor like you would have enough sense to set a course clear of the boat swallow's territory. But that's just it. They had no reason to be in this area. If you ask me, it's strange. Do you think maybe it's because of all those... Those earthquakes? Well, I can't rule it out. Huh? What are you talking about? Hmm? And who's this? His name's Yuki. He says he's an airplane pilot. Uh, airplane? Ah, then you're a flyer too! Hey, that hurt! What's the 
a big idea. <laughs> That's just his way of saying hello. <laughs> it's a compliment. I'm O. Nice to meet you. So, has anything odd happened recently? Yeah. Another one of those nasty quakes hit. I heard it even did some serious damage to a castle somewhere. Nobody knows when those things are gonna strike next. Yuki, you should probably be careful when you're... Huh? Wow. Your dragon. It was flying earlier, wasn't it? <sighs> you saw us fly, didn't you? And don't call him It. He's got a name, you know. He goes by the name of Shiba, got that? Cool. Hi there, Shiba. <laughs> well, Yuki, like my dragon? Oh, yeah. You bet I do. After all, I love flying. Wow. Wanna take a ride? Really? Why not ask Shiba? If he's in a good mood, he'll let you ride him. Dude, hell yeah. Little how to train your dragon thing yet. So how about it, Shiba? Just a little ride? What do we got to lose? Screech! Whoa. Maybe I didn't ask right. This time will be a little more sincere. Shiba, let me ride you through the sky. Your wings are so beautiful and powerful. Why do I feel like he's ignoring me? <laughs> Climb on anyway. <laughs> okay, how about this? I'll let you ride me first. Ew, oh, ew, oh, oh. <laughs> you can give me a ride. <laughs> Sound good? You ride my back, I ride yours. <laughs> oh, I don't. Uh, are you trying to make me look ridiculous? Try for force. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> Nobody ever heard from Yuki again. <laughs> you better give up, Yuki. Looks like you're not quite, you're not qualified to ride yet. Whatever. Anyway. Huh. Right. Like he could tell. Oh, weird. The text is just automatically... Hmm. Don't underestimate him. It took a long time before he'd let me ride him, you know. Ugh. Just watch. Nobody can beat me. Not when it comes to flying. On a thing I've never flown on before. Alright. Ajiba. Yikes! Alright. Maybe like five more times. <laughs> yeah, no. It's not gonna happen. It's a cute little dragon, though. He's totes adorbs. Try from behind. Oh, you want it from behind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Captain's quarters, maybe? Probably in the cabin, but I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you very much for stopping by. Greatly appreciate it. And on the next episode, we're going to ride Sheba. <laughs> no, just kidding. Probably not. Um... But yeah, we'll continue the adventure then. So thank you all for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you had a great time. And of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is just Novellus Draconis. But if you want to be incredibly awesome and support the show a bit more directly like Novellus Draconis, check out the join button down below. Tiers start at three bucks a month. It's only 10 cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff. And until next time, take care and have yourselves a good one.